Firewatch 509, November 9th, 2020, 1115 hours. Creek Fire, Sierra National Forest. Uh, we're in Division Mike on the north end of the division. Right here, the reticles pointed up at Pumice Butte. And I purposely have the color screen up to show you the snowfall. Switch and IR. And I'm going to come down and bring the reticle once again down to Pond Lily area. Color. Okay, for reference, here's Pond Lily. Here's the confluence of uh, Fish Creek. And I'm going to work it up the south end of Pond Lily, taking Fish Creek drainage to the east IR. And once again, to note, the bright white spots here are heat signatures. So we got this rock band, we're right above the rock band here. Let's try blended. Okay, that should paint you a good picture of all this natural barrier here that's above Fish Creek proper, the reticle right down here in Fish, Fish Creek. And we're gonna come up and come up this right flank that works its way towards Pumice Butte just shy. And you can follow along on the split screen with the topo lines for a rough mapping. We got a new piece of fire up here, and you can see kind of hemmed in by these rock spires. Color certainly not going anywhere at this point. Back to IR and fused. Okay, continuing. Kind of comes up this long ridge just shy of this first point that then comes over the saddle. Big picture down into pumice. And now we're on this high point of fire right through here. IR. I'm gonna grab you a, long, a lat long for this piece of fire. It's the furthest up slope. It'll be in the upper right hand of your screen underneath the LRF target. Okay, you can grab those coordinates and correlate. And we're gonna work it down across the west and then down the other flank that goes towards uh, the Middle Fork and Crater Creek. A little piece of fire right here and right here, color. And in this location, they've got about 12 inches of snow on the ground. Blended. IR. It comes back along here, kind of worked its way up through this timber stringer, and we'll work it down, slope through here. Another piece here. Color. IR. Color. It's like a stump hole here or a heavy down log. Nowhere to go at this point with the perception on the ground. Back to IR. And above this rock bluff here that is just above Crater Creek. Bit of a horseshoe through here. Blended. And down into the creek proper through here. And we're working it back down towards Pond Lily to the south. And back to big picture. And let's look south of Fish Creek. And just a quick look at Junction Bluffs area. IR. Still a little bit of scattered heat. Uh, no threat. Very little spread potential. Color. 
and they also got snow over there. IR. And I'm going to work it back up drainage to the north for one last look up towards Pumice Butte. Here's what we've per referred to the last couple of days as this bench, big flat portion of timber. I'm going to switch to color, and we've got snow all along here. And we'll pull the reticle back up towards Pumice Butte. A little bit of smoke production here, IR. Color. Uh, once again, running out of fuel. Back to IR. And we're just below Pumice Butte here looking due west. Down in the creek bottom. And still some overall scattered heat signatures through here. No threat, low spread potential due to the precipitation overnight. Uh, once again, we got about 10 to 12 inches of snow all through here. Color. IR. And blended.